Hey guys, we've been busy in the field the last few days and uh, I just had a story here while I'm bouncing down the road in the combine from one field to another. First off, I am making a video today so I'm hoping if I can get home soon enough tonight I can take an hour and create that video and get that online for you guys. But uh, this was too good not to share. So I'm combining earlier today, back and forth across the field, minding my own business and I get a text message from a phone number that I have never heard of before. I have no idea where this number came from. And it reads, Hello, good day. Here is Captain Jeffrey John. Ooh, sounds important. I will like to know if you still render tree service and please do you accept credit card as a form of payment. If yes, kindly get back to me. To which I respond, greetings, Captain. Indeed, I do still render tree service. How may I be of assistance to you? The Captain says, Thanks for getting back to me. I just got a new house here in the state and I want to get rid of all trees and stumps in the house, but currently I'm out of state for a special military base and I will like the job done before I'm back. Please do you accept credit cards? And please, what is your merchant processor because PayPal and Square does not remit with my card? Here is the house address. Then he goes on to list an address that's about 10 miles away from me in a small town. I looked the address up. It's a legit address of a house that's actually for sale. And wouldn't you know they have an awful lot of grown up shrubs and trees in their yard. So of course I respond back, Captain, beautiful place, congrats. The estimate is $7,500. I'm on my way there now to start removing trees. Are you from the area? No, I just got the house. How do you process your card? Boy, this guy would really like my processing information. So I told him, I'll get you the credit card info tonight. I'm busy cutting the trees right now. Whose trees? My trees? Yes, yours. You are not supposed to do that, he said. So I waited about 15, 20 minutes, and I sent him this. The police are here. I told them you're a captain, but they still seem very upset. Can I give them your number? He didn't respond. So I waited another 10 minutes and I told him, Hello, Captain Jeffrey John. Please answer the police when they call you. They're very upset with me for doing my job. They're considering hanging me and I have children. Please just explain to them that you're a captain and then I will go back to work removing your trees. That was about half an hour ago and he has texted me eight more times wondering where I'm at and he would like me to message with him. He's been trying to con he's been trying to call me and I haven't decided if I'm going to take the phone call or not, but it's coming from this number so it's him. I've clearly got him in panic mode, but I don't feel too bad for him. So, I haven't decided if I'm going to answer that phone call yet or not. But anyway, this story was too good not to share with you guys. This is the kind of entertainment that I need when I'm driving back and forth in a combine all day. And that's all I got.